normal day, and then I start my, I'm in the bathroom, like, what's, up? what's, up? what's up? on fire? I have nothing going. And, like, quickly hit me when I go outside to investigate, like, oh, yeah, we got smoke coming. Where is it? I got off of the school bus, and I saw smoke. Just before 4 o'clock, our crews were called. Yeah, it got bigger and bigger, and it smoked out our apartments over there. When our crews arrived on scene, they did find heavy fire. I was scared at first, because when I got off the bus, I was praying that it wasn't our apartment. Possibly 12 units affected by the fire. My room is right there. But the wind pushing it over there. Oh, this is what it looks like. You always see it on TV and movies. Oh, yes, this is what it looks like when it's on fire. Probably just a baby fire. No, man. As this fire escalated, maybe it's not that bad. And then, like, as the smoke gets, you know, bigger and bigger, it's like, ah. It was struck to a third alarm. It's been going on for a while now, and they, they're still finding it. And sitting out here watching them do their job. There was just too much fire, and it was too dangerous at that point for us to continue that offensive interior attack. We were able to get the fire knocked down pretty quickly once we got those ladder trucks set up. And they were spraying it down, but. A lot of people, they lost their apartment. This time I know that there are 24 adults and nine children that have been displaced. Uh, no injuries have been reported. Hopefully it dies down and we can go back in our apartment. Try to make some sort of arrangements for tonight. You can go from there. I got a 30 minute for right That's, now. I, I don't know. <laughs> Something's gonna come up.